what the aim is here is I'm putting the whole line out and trying to pick a fish up at that distance. See what it feels like. Okay, that's the. Well, I got the back in there on the reel. Virtually that whole line out. So I'll just let that fly hang a bit there now. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <clears throat> getting picked up at that distance it's, it definitely feels strange um, it, it, you just feel the weight more than anything I think there's so much line between you and the fish but that's good uh, at least I was going to able to get a decent hook hold with it ok what I've got now uh, there's strong, quite a strong wind Coming round here it gives me a good opportunity as to what the line performs like. Well, I tell you what, that is a good. Let's see, against that wind, I've got all the line. You work it out now. One, two. There's a good three rod lengths short there. This is a good 60, 70 foot against that wind. Let's bring this in, try that again. Yeah, look, I've got it there. One, two, three, four, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17 foot maybe, short of a whole line against this wind. Uh, how strong is the wind? Um, you can see the grass is blowing there. It is quite a strong wind, gusty. I purchased the Infinity Smooth from Scientific Anglers back in probably mid-September and my first experience on the water was dreadful. What I'd done, I'd set it up on a mid-tip action rod and it was like casting a brick. I couldn't get control of it from lifting off the water. The false casting was very hard work and to get any sort of distance with it was just almost impossible. So on the second trip, I then put it onto a fast tip action rod and it made a huge difference. I was able to get more control of the line. It's still quite an aggressive line. Uh, and for an aggressive line, it's surprising its presentation. That last 10 foot of that taper really does present really well on the water. But this line, I'd say for me, would be more used for in the winter months. So casting bigger distances on this setup was no problem, lifting off no problem, the contact was very good, you had very little stretch in the line, so if you're fishing at bigger distances, get set in the hook, you know, as you've seen there was no issues there. Mending the line was a bit difficult, I found that the line was probably a bit too heavy, it might be sitting a bit deeper in the water, but it was a bit more difficult at mending. And as I say, it was more for the intention of uh, winter line. And when it was casting into the wind, it was unbelievable. You could generate a lot of power through that line and it would cut through that wind. And it was giving me really good distances against the wind. Every so often you will come across a line that will do everything it says on the box. And this is one of them the Rio single-handed spay. Now there are two versions, this is the older version and there's this version. This version, the only difference, it's got the slit 
cast on it. Justin had recommended this line and his is the older version. And I've got to be honest, I can't really tell the difference between this line and his line when we're casting them. Now, I have noticed this line before, but because it says single-handed spare, I thought it was more specific for the river. And I can certainly see why it's set up more for the river. But it also works really well on the still waters. It loads the rod really quickly. And on the back cast, you only need a short distance before it's shooting off into the lake. And it sits really well on the water. Mending the line is unbelievable. Again, it's low stretch, so you'll be able to hook fish at whatever distance. And its presentation is spot on. So there's not much that I could tell you that is wrong with this line. And everybody that has cast this line really enjoyed it. It's a real boost of confidence when you feel within one back cast and that line just wants to shoot out. So it looks like Rio have just come up with another really great line. But it does come at a price. But as I've said earlier, Justin's line is now at half price, so you can pick this same line up, bar the slick cast, which I didn't notice any difference, at a lot cheaper price. As soon as you pick the rod up, can you oh, pick yeah, it in there? Like a post, isn't it? Right, it's like, <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. In there. And it's whippy. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, it's, that's more, that's more of a mid-tip, see? I'd say it's more of a through. Right. That line on that rod... No. Definitely not. No, I can feel it. It's like that. Yeah. As soon as you put it on that faster tip, then it's a lot, lot better. But it's still a very heavy, aggressive line. I don't know how line. you can use this bloody rod. In there. You imagine fishing with that all day? Oh, no. no, no. Yeah. I can feel it looking boy. Yeah. What happened just now? We've got all the rods going. And what we're doing, we're swapping around, casting it, leaving it out there, swapping over, and then as we're casting the next minute fish come up picked the line up we just missed one it was sat out there as we were swapping the fish come up and picked the bloody fly up so we just missed out on that one it's like using a steel rod hey. try this you gotta try this it's here. absolutely horrendous if you can but it's down not <laughs> What's not working? Okay, what we're definitely finding out is the rod setup, depending on what line you're using, is going to be a massive difference. This line here now that Justin's on now is the Infinity Smooth by Scientific Anglers. And it's a much heavier, more aggressive line. We've got that setup, more of a mid-tip action, and it's really hard work. When I first started using it, uh, it felt like I was pulling a brick, put it on a faster tip, it worked a lot better. But what we're finding is we're fishing a lot more now with the lighter rods, the uh, six weights more often than not, and a six weight with today's technology built into it. A much better experience. But just to give you an idea, what um, my experience up until more recent, with lighter five and six weight rods. Uh, obviously they're a much older rod. And the difference now with today's technologies uh, built into these more modern five, six weight rods is so much, much better. When I'm fishing now with these six or the five weights, I would never even consider going back to the sevens. And the performance, I've even fished with the six weights throughout the winter in some really, you know, really harsh conditions with strong winds and I've not had any problems. I'm finding that it's a lot more enjoyable. It, the, the, the whole experience of the cast in the field, the feel of the rod, the weight of it, 
the whole package and at the end of the day it's been a more enjoyable day due to the lighter rods as soon as i pick the seven weight up here now with the scientific anglers lying on as you feel it and it is hard work compared to what one are you putting it on now the i've got to put it on the six weight nine foot six there we are so another rod try it on this this is with the um oh the reed reed river line flies out there do you find there's a big difference in that um, and the cheaper rod yeah you need to what you call this could shoot um, it's got the energy in yeah, the rod to really push a bigger line in there. Less in the less air in the air, you can shoot more out with less, if you know what I mean. That's it. I gotta try my one on the right as well. Yeah, definitely. But you only need really one pot pack anyway. There's only the armors left. Five, six hours maybe of that? Yeah. And it's only one little yeah. And it lifts easy and it's straight. It does, doesn't it? It does it lift does, quite easy. Yeah, you know what I mean? One row's there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I think the difference there is that slight bit more in the rod. There's a bit more energy in that yeah. rod than the cheaper rod. There's less work in it. Less work. You know, you can... The cheaper rod, you're going to find... It's, it's going to be a bit harder lifting off bigger line oh, yeah. lengths, isn't it? There's hardly nothing else, is there? Is there 10 yards out? Yeah. You know what I mean, it goes. Yeah. It's a best and that is it, in the middle of the lake. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to uh, get one for my five weight, I think. Yeah. I got the grade on that now and I don't know. Not a patch on this. No. I'm gonna put this on my hardy though. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll try it on the on your hardy, yeah. we'll try it on the McKenzie, we'll yeah. try it on all the rods. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I do like this, yeah. Yeah, it just flies out. Yeah. And that's it when you've got conditions like that yeah, that's yeah, a good it's, time in it when you've got flat calm and there's hardly any recoiling no, on it nothing. and that line hasn't been stretched there's nothing I just put it straight on the spool and away Okay, another day on the water, and the line that's created more fast than any has got to be this reed line. Everybody that's casted this line so far, bar one, has made a purchase, and I totally understand. I picked this line up for £22 and about another £4 on postage, and honestly, it is a really lovely line to use. Do you want a cuppa? I've put the kettle on ready because you said you were coming over. I've got mine ready as well. So what is it about this line? First thing, it loads the rod fairly quickly. Within about a rod and a half and you're able to load that line. And when it goes, it really does go. It's quite a delicate line and its presentation is spot on. The front taper means that you can anything you know reasonable size lures right down even a dry fly you could present on this line picking off the water is dead simple mending is okay the memory is really good virtually it just does everything and the stretch on this line is just about i'd say spot on but if there's anything that this line will struggle with and it's got to be extreme wind and then again there's a lot of lines We'll struggle in some of the winds that we fish in. Do I give it a go? I've done plenty with it. Have you? Yeah. Are you liking it? Like I said, the rod helps. 
There's more feeling yeah. in it. You can feel more, and when you do something wrong, you can you can feel that you've done it wrong. Yeah. Whereas the other one, not so much. Well, we moved Putnam on, as I say, Putnam on the bud, lower budget rods. It was working fine, but you definitely, when you start getting into the more mid-range rods, definitely an advantage. You know, it's like the boys are saying, you know, with the snowby lines and all, all the different lines that come onto the water, everyone's happy with the lines, really. But it's finding a line like that at the money. I mean, it's value for money, isn't it? Tell you what, I'm looking forward with this line. I'm going to use this line, obviously, quite a bit. And we're looking forward to fishing this line with, on the buzzers. More when you've got that contact. Well, yeah, because you've got no, you've got no curls in it. No, you've got no. So you've got good contact. Uh, you've got a little bit of stretch in it. That's going to be a help with those really aggressive hits. And this is it's on the going wrong to be hand. just. Yeah. What okay. is this about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still haven't got into the mac. I got. I got a mix now. I got. Do you, do you only get slow fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I got that one and a couple of the reels are still on the right hand line. I got a couple now that I've set up on the left. And I don't know. It just doesn't make any difference to me. I'm used to them both now. I was going to set them all up on the left, but I'm so used to on the right. Which one do you prefer using? The lines. Yeah. Well, he, must got... get, he must be getting lined out. Yeah, I've got too many now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can. It's easier for me to tell you what the shit lines are <laughs> than it is to tell you the good ones. What about lines. the one that broke? Now, if I was comparing this to the Rio single spay cast, it presents really well on the water, and you're casting that, and it's. It casts easily, and if you're casting in a headwind with the Rio, not a problem. This is a bit more delicate, and in a stronger headwind, that you're going to struggle a bit more. Uh, and also the Rio, perfect for a river, and that's why it's probably set up more for the river. It's because it mends so easy. So if you've got the Rio, and you go to mend it, it mends so easy this won't mend quite like the Rio but do you end up buying a Rio just so that you can do this. get that bit better of men uh, it's a lot of money is it well is it is it four times as good no <laughs> that's what it comes down to isn't it you it's, look at it's it. down to that but it's also what you're looking at then it's line specific in there well, you, you're wanting it for a specific reason so if I was fishing on a river and it was this or the Rio, I'd probably say, okay, I'll spend the extra and get the Rio. But it's amazing how somebody can produce this line at this money. And we don't know how long it's going to last, but, but if this lasted me 12 months for the amount of fishing I do, I'm going to be happy with that. Yeah, because that'll last a normal person four years, five years then. Yeah, it'll last you <laughs> yeah. six. Ten years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't ever wear it out. Aaron, have a go on the line and all your... Oh, I've had a go. Have another go. Did you? Only a quick go. Without you looking. Oh, what did you think of it? Crap, wasn't it, huh? It was like two false casts and it was out. Yeah. So would you rate the line? It's all yeah. right. Do you check its memory and everything? Yeah, it's line straight. It forgot you a second time round, didn't it? It's memory. It's like Sean's, no memory. Yeah. Okay, the first thing I would like to do is to thank BC. So thanks, mate. That was a really good recommend. Now, BC recommended the read line to me. What I'd like to say is if there's any of you out there that come across anything like this reed line that BC had found and is good value for money and you believe that it will benefit everybody else out there, this is a good way to pass the information on. You contact or leave a comment with us and we will then review this product and then we will give an honest review. Now, the first thing I did once 
BC had told me about the read line is uh, I contact the company, find out a bit more about the line uh, and then they'll offer normally sometimes a line if you're going to do a review on it. But I rather purchase these products because I don't want to feel obligated to doing a good review. The reviews that we will do are going to be honest reviews. I have purchased so many things in the past on, if you like, duff reviews. And this is because somebody's being given the product or being paid in some way. This will not happen here. Everything we go through, and it won't be just my opinion, it'll be an opinion of many. Uh, I'm fortunate because I fish with a lot of different guys um, and we're at all different levels. It's nice just to have a bit of feedback from everybody. And I think that's where the honest review comes from. And then obviously the read line and why this read line creates so much of a fuss is mainly because of the way it was obviously cast in. Uh, not many of the boys were able to actually fish with it because they didn't have the time to fish for it. But the stretch on this line is very good. Uh, and I can tell you I've actually fished with it as well as cast in and it does fish really, really well. But I think this line is certainly going to be a big selling line. Like I've never heard of Reed Rivers really. But I think we're going to hear a lot more about Reed Rivers. Now this is a small company and I can see these lines are going to sell quite a bit. I keep looking down there because the spool is here. I'm certain that when I had this, I can't really remember. My memory is not very good. I got short term memory problems, but I'm certain that when I had this, this was it. There was no box and it came as it is. Now, what I'm saying, it's a smaller company. This line is most certainly going to sell. And I picked this line up for £22. And then I paid probably another £374 post and package. So it's certainly going to sell. And there's going to be a demand for it. So if I was you get onto it pretty quick. But if you have to wait, wait. Because it's well worth it. But the loops are what they call an exposed loop not a welded loop now the reason why they're doing this is i have on out of all the lines i've got on two occasions have had the welded loop now where the line comes back up on itself and it's welded to it that has started peeling away every now and again the line gets stuck in there and it, it's just a nightmare but this exposed loop to me it makes sense it's quite clever but what I do see a lot of uh, is a lot of people is they're bringing their tippet material through the welded loop. And obviously once you've got that, that's actually cutting through into your line. And once you cut through that line, it's a small amount, but that does allow moisture in. And, it, and over time, you're going to find that's going to start sinking. My leader avoids all of that anyway. But if you don't want to use a leader and you want to tip it straight off of that, I would make a loop-to-loop -loop braid, similar to the loop that goes onto your normal fly line and we've put it over. But if you have a loop-to-loop -loop and it's simple to make, loop-to-loop -loop you can then, and then you tiny your tippet then onto the braid, not so much onto your actual fly line. So you can keep your fly line good. But I think I've covered everything. Justin found this tippet material and it, it so far it's been pretty damn good and it's if it, if it works out for us uh, it'll be great because then what I'll do is tell you about this tippet material and what makes this tippet material so good is everything really but it's price it's about seven or eight pound for a hundred meter spool <laughs> and it's good stuff. Uh, it's low diameter, it's high abrasion, good knot strength. But that'll be on a later video. We've also got a video, that myself and a few of the boys, we went off on a five-day fishing trip. So hopefully that'll be coming up soon. But if you do end up purchasing this reed line, I hope you enjoy it. To be honest, I know you're going to enjoy it. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, send us a comment, 
So until next video, take care.